Mid-season check-in, Connor. How are we feeling? We are officially halfway through season one of Doctor Who 2024. No, don't say it, Aiden. Don't say it. It's almost over. No. It's I don't Jova. Want, I, don't, I actually don't want it to be Jova. Mm. I'm enjoying it mm-hmm. that much, folks. Yeah. Well, no, I enjoyed I enjoyed um, three and four that much. Mm. Uh, but also one the and first two, I, two. Can, I can kind of take it or leave it. They're fun, though. Especially yeah, one. If, you know, what happens is you... you, you you go for months about Doctor Who. You're just glad you got an episode mm. and some new content and something to talk about. Um, and now you look back and you're like, oh, I don't know if it was quite as high rated for Space Babies or... Yeah, but that's in the ether now. That's, that's, you can't fix that. We have that's rules in this the ether. Pod. That's in the ether. No, I'm, I'm, but I'm very much... In, I think I think this series as a whole, I think I'd say Space Babies is fun, but very silly. Mm-hmm. Maybe a bit of a stupid choice of Russell to open with it, but we, we live Definitely. and learn. Um, Devil's Court, I think I stand by Devil's Court being a missed opportunity. Mm. That's definitely one I like the least, which is insane to say it. Mm-hmm. Um, Boom, I think is just a fantastic piece of storytelling and 73 yards. It's just, it's, it's so great. I love it. How I about ju- you? How I just you? completely second what you just said. I've got nothing, nothing yeah. more. I completely agree. We're literally on the same. I feel like I'm not close to you. Sorry. Please We're come not. as close as you possibly can. We, oh, Oh, we haven't really disagreed with each other. No. I love that. And we're both going to love Dot and Bubble this week, of course. Sure. Yep. This is our Dot and Bubble preview pod, folks. We're going to be looking ahead to Dot and Bubble, saying a few of the tip bits that have been... Tip bits? Tip bits? Tits? Tits that have been released by the BBC. (laughs) Uh, So, yeah, we're going to be looking ahead to the upcoming episode, but we're also going to look back at... Uh, 73 yards we're going to see if our thoughts have changed which by the sounds of it they really haven't um Ah, and we're going to listen and upgrade and delete your bloody opinions on that episode absolutely yeah i'm very excited so what we sign with first we sign with our updated thoughts or we We will do our updated thoughts in a second but one thing i do want to say just before we run too far away from this little mid-season stop running aiden i'm i'm just i gotta go fast it's a big show it's a monday night monday night mate um, Monday Night Raw. I, I want to say, at this point in this season, okay, going into Dot and Bubble, there's two reasons why I'm not that excited about it at the moment, okay? Exhibit A mm-hmm. is that it just looks shit. <laughs> it does look terrible. <laughs> Exhibit B is that I put up a tweet about this today. I feel like I could do with like a an episode that impacts the main story. You know, like Chibnall, take it like for good, or, better or for worse, he did pretty well at like, addressing his ongoing story in se- obviously flux is one whole plot but season 12 i really like how he did like big story stuff at the start couple episodes and then big story in the middle couple episodes and then big story at the end like i i think in in 2024 storytelling i would love like a mid-season episode that addresses the story at least a little bit because at the moment we're just getting it's snowing and I don't know who my mum is. And Susan Twist is back. And look, it's fucking Su- And you know Susan Twist, they're just going to keep doing it every week. And mm. and I think like next week, Ruby will be like, no, I have seen you before. And that will like- Unless they don't meet. I don't know. I don't know, man. But no, you. so you mentioned in the tweet a very good episode as a reference that was um, Fugitive of the Jadoon. Mm-hmm. I agree. I think, you know, despite Chibnall saying he didn't listen to <laughs> reviews- he definitely in season 12 changed up his format of like a series mm-hmm. because we had this episode, which was, I mean, still to this day, I can say like, it was mind blowing. I watched it live. Yeah. I didn't get spoiled about Jack coming back. Yeah. It was the most insane thing ever. It's insane. Um, I would like some of that. Um, unfortunately, I feel like Russell sometimes gets a bit carried away with his like, the fact that they'll see Susan Twist and it's known again will be enough to keep them going <laughs> till the final. Well, because it's that good, kids. I think there's, you know. there's two. There's a big difference is that we have smaller episode count. So to do your episodes of the week, which I want to say are great, like Boom is amazing, um, yeah. seventy three yards is amazing, um, but it, I am still feeling like a, a little tired of the formula of like you know episode starts, da da da, episode ends, and then next week you do the same thing, which. That was a terrible explanation, but you know what I mean. Where it's you get that same cycle, whereas at least in like seasons one to t- uh, ten or whatever, you had like mid series two parters that just sort of sh- shook up the structure and the formula of the episodes a little mm. bit. Um, I just need a little bit of that right now. I don't think I'm going to get it, and I'm not going to be mad that I don't get it, but I, I could do with it. No, I feel like Russell's said repeatedly the it's episode seven. 
That's meant to be the biggest like mic drop moment. I think he said, "Film your reactions, YouTubers." Ah, uh, I don't know if I like that idea. I, I think like I mean, we film our we basically film our reactions well, just ten minutes later. My my thoughts on that is like, what if I don't have the reaction you want me to have? Yeah, we're just like straight face. It's like I should do that. You know, how I did those TikToks yeah. where I'd have the trailer and then I just have a straight face reaction that, to it. You should do that because, like, I feel like if it's just something like Susan, I'm not going to be that blown away and be like, "Ah, oh, well, I kind of." I think I'll sort of be like, "He's actually done it," because I am in disbelief that Susan is involved. It I would, wouldn't you know blow how I go, me away. You know it's how like, I go oh. with all these things. I always sit there and I go, "Like, I won't, I don't believe it till I see it." How wrong have I been about this season? I was thinking about that today, right? Where I said. Uh, Russell isn't going to write most of the season. Ends up writing most of the season. I said, Stephen Moffat won't be back. Stephen Moffat comes back. I said, David Tennant won't be back. David Tennant comes back. And there was another big fucking one that I just, I can't remember, but I'm wrong about everything. So everyone stop listening to me. There are secrets that I think Russell's kept very well. Secrets. I just think that like for a regular audience, they're not going to give a shit who Susan is or know who she is. Mm. And I don't, I don't think this big twist Susan Twist. Oh, stop it. <laughs> I don't know if this big thing at the end of episode A or in episode A is going to be that big enough to... If the big twist is that it's Susan at the end... Don't get me wrong, I'd love to see Susan, but it's like, I just don't think regular audiences or new audiences will really care that much. Mm. I'm not saying don't do it. I'm just saying do it on top of something better. <laughs> you want more and more and more. I'm sorry. More. More. I am Kylo Ren, okay? Um, I guys, need more, okay? So much more of this lovely chat is still to come on the podcast. With a 50 Cent Doctor Who podcast, follow us on Twitter and Instagram at 50 Doctor. So subscribe, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit us up, uh, like give us all the follows, give us all the ratings, and uh, we'll be back after this sick beat. 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50%. Podcast. It is a sick beat, you can't deny it. Do you want to uh, look back approximately 73 yards at last Saturday? Oh, that was to, good. Uh, yeah, it's called a fucking... Did you practice that? So, uh, no, I, I just thought of it on the spot, and I'm just really talented. Um, 73 yards, mate. Let's look back. To start off this conversation, I would like to say that immediately after this episode came out, Chalice Who tweeted at us and said, Hey, guys. Who did, sorry? Chalice Who. They said, Who's hey, that? Someone on Twitter. Okay, sorry. They said, hey, guys, in 73 yards, Shooty was in the episode 2.65%. My brain remembered you predicting, so I had to do the maths. So I think I said, did I say 8% oh. or something? And you said maybe 10% or yeah. something? I can't remember. Shooty was in it for 2.65% of the episodes. Thank you, Chalice. Damn, that's incredible. Thank you so much for Thank sending that you. in. Yeah. I'll, yeah. Have to, um, yeah. I'll have to put that on the Instagram. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. That's incredible. That's incredible. Uh, has your opinion changed? We both loved it at the time of recording the episode. I gave it a nine and you gave it an 8.5. Yeah. Can I change it? You have my, one chance yes, to change it. my opinion it. has changed. Good. And I'm sorry I hate to do this, but uh, it's going to nine, baby. Oh, my God. I said it. I oh. fucking said it. Oh. I don't care what you say at home. I don't... <laughs> <That's a lie. laughs> I don't care what you say at home. I know you think that I'm paid by Disney. I know you think that I'm a sellout. I loved it, okay? Everyone in the comments, whenever... We can always tell when a video is going around the wrong circle of Doctor Who fans. I know. Because the comments go God. like, these guys, you can see, you can almost see the guns off the camera by Disney pointing at them. And it's like, you know what? We just fucking love this show. I'm sticking with nine. You get a car. You get a car. You get a car. Nine's all round. Oh my goodness me. This is a crack. I've seen it twice and I love it. Love and it. as much as I do, you know, I can understand some people's uh, problems with the episodes. I understand that maybe they don't like the ending. Um, which I get, it doesn't explain much and sometimes people want a bit more closure. I personally love it. I think if you want to know what the woman says, then you are very silly and that- uh, That's the whole point. That would ruin the episode. Yes. I think um, the doctor does just disappear at the start with no explanation. It works for me. I can understand that it is a bit like, oh, the doctor kind of does just disappear for no fucking reason. And I can also uh, understand that perhaps some people feel like the sexual assault stuff was mishandled. It wasn't a massive problem for me, but I can understand why people would want it to have a bit more of a light shun on it rather than it just being a slightly more potty thing. So quickly reply to everything you said. Yeah, I said a lot, so yes, come at I me. Yes, I agree. I agree that you shouldn't hear what the woman said. That's the whole point. 
Um, and it and I cannot stop thinking about this episode since I watched it, which mm. is the same with Boom. But I think I might even be thinking about this episode even more now, which is crazy. I can't decide which one I like more, which isn't fantastic. It's what I wanted from Russell. And Lot- I was not expecting that at all. Lots more to dissect with this one than with Boom, I think is the difference. Maybe. Like plot one, like lots Maybe. of question marks. Boom, Boom's like a, a really good story, Maybe. but it doesn't leave lots of questions. You're For not me, thinking about the uh, meaning of life. Yes, that's that's true. Um, second, uh, the Doctor disappearing. I think... I'm not saying this is true, but like, I think there is maybe, I mean, we do here in the pub scene, particularly where like, you know, they do really talk about the land, the sea and the dimensions of unknown. I do generally think like maybe the doctor stood on something and Ruby got cursed. Mm. Yeah, I think that's the I, idea, but it but, is it is a little bit like- Do you know what right. I love though? Is that everyone has a different theory and that's why he did it. And if you don't understand that, do you really think Russell T. Davies is writing a show for Disney and it's just like, oh, fuck it, I'm so lazy, I'm not even going to write <laughs> what happened. He said he has answers to these questions. I, for one, believe him. Mm. One of the most amazing things I saw from a, a clip from um, Redacted? Re- Unleashed. Unleashed. You do this every week. You always yeah, go Redacted. He said, what is something that... What can you what 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 could a mother be told that makes mm. them run away from their daughter and never want to speak to them again? It's the question. Sorry, the answer is different for every mm. person. I do wonder with that one though. Yes, Carl is a very caring mother and very defensive of Ruby. So what the fuck? Yeah, I that think- one does push me a little bit of this concept where I'm like, part of me doesn't believe that anything could make Carla just vanish from Ruby. You know? But yet she did. But yet she did because it's yeah. a script. And I, and I, I, I feel like I'm talking shit about this episode. I fucking love this episode, but I do have a question mark there. Um, but it could also be a curse as well. Like it could just be something that I feel like that's less interesting though. Than it the is actual. less interesting. So I think I think it all is. that we would need uh, the Doctor Who show. I was listening to them today, and they actually cover this pretty well. Um, so this kind of goes out to them. I think it would have been nice to have had um, that scene where Ruby's at the door, rather than Carla being like. No one, why would any, your own mother didn't want to stay with you. Uh, instead, have a bit more of a realistic line from Carla being like, um, you know, Ruby, I love you, but I can't have you in my life anymore. Or something like that would be a little bit more realistic to me. It definitely was like a super harsh line. Yeah, I, it just fell out of character, even if she has heard the most crazy, fearsome thing in the world. And finally, I think that Ruby um, allowing some kind of maybe essay to happen to allow her to take down the prime minister. I think it's super dark Mm. and I'm not going to comment on any of it. I just think it's super dark Mm. and I think it's like not really my place to say. I actually never thought of it in in the way of that. She allows it to to happen happen. in the way that I can see. I can see what you mean by that. But I also, I also think that I've been thinking a lot about the darkest timeline Mm. And this is not really Ruby. It's not really, it's everyone's acting in their worst nature. Even like Cherry, even Cherry's like, what did you say to her? Like, mm. what did you say to her? It's like, I didn't say anything. It was women. Like, I feel like everyone's like Kate turns bad, you yeah. know? I feel like everyone's, the doctor disappears. Mm-hmm. The people in the pub are negative. Like they're being horrible. Like mm-hmm. everyone's not on the same side. Mm-hmm. And I think it really is like the darkest timeline almost. Yeah. And fuck me, I'm so glad this episode exists. I love it so much. So, I'm so, so glad it exists. I, I think um, the only thing, because as much as I say I have those like little question marks around a few areas that don't detract from the episode, mm-hmm. the only thing that for me, I think maybe stops this getting a 10 is perhaps at the ending, it's just slightly unclear how Ruby, how the timeline changes back to normal. Yeah. So because Ruby, Ruby just ends up going, oh no, don't stand there. And it's like, and I know there's like a little voiceover cue in the background of, of the woman saying like, don't stand there, don't stand there or something. Um, yeah. But I, yeah, I think the, my head canon is that she's having deja vu. Like she almost has, de- she sees the woman and then it's like this whole deja vu and she's like, oh, there's a thing down there. And then that's how she knows it's there before she sees it. But that is totally me. Is just the like woman Ruby up. then? I think so. Uh, so what, what is she signaling in? And she does this, what is... Is it sign language? Original joke, the Macarena. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's all I can say. So we'll never know, I guess. Yeah. Um, was she doing sign language? I thought about that today. 
Uh, well, I'm sure. Are there any sign language folks out there could tell us? Can you please uh, fill us in, folks? Do you think it will come back into the final? I feel like that would take away from it being. It could take away from it, but I do think there's an element of Ruby when Ruby meets Kate. I think it'll be weird if we have to redo the whole. I'm Kate Lethbridge Stewart. Da 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 da. Whereas, uh, I feel like we should have Ruby go hi, Kate, and Kate's like, "Have we met?" And Ruby's like, "I don't know." Do you know what I mean? Yes, I could see definitely Ruby being like, um, you know, what have we met before? I think we have. The the other thing that a lot I, of that seems to be happening these days because they mentioned season twist or something. Well, we're always talk. We we've said early on in our predictions part of the whole series that uh, perhaps the series is going down the time changing time route. I mean, the song in the trailer is a good uh, precursor of that. But then also, you know, we've seen. Um, 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 Devil's Chord is all about sort of an alternate Beatles timeline. You see an alternate future, yeah. um, and then this is obviously an alternate timeline. I wonder if this is something that like will come back in Episode Seven to be an example of what's of like a bigger. Well, you even hear you even hear Kate say, I think it's a line no one's really talking about. You even hear Kate say like this timeline seems to be fixated around you. Mm. So I think that does kind of prove the theory of like this being like the darkest timeline around Ruby. And she also says it's funny how we. I'm butchering the line, but it's like we take things and we make and we perceive them how we want them to. Yeah. I think that's Russell's telling us that like you're going to take this episode and you're going to perceive it how you like. Yeah, and um, that's up to you. Yeah, and I, I for that fix it yourself, bitch. For that, I tip my um my fedora. My dog dropped in fucking Costa. Um, uh, they sure are. Okay, should we move on to uh, Australia's favorite segment, mate? Let's do it. It's time for upgrade or delete. Upgrade in progress. Dab to the stomp. I had to, man. Oh, what are you, Missy, in 2017, which I'm was already this actual minute. It was already two years too late. That Fantastic was. episode. Um. Okay. All right. So this is the segment where you guys send in your lovely reviews of the episodes. Um. And thank you so much for doing so. We've got yeah heaps of the homies send them in at the moment. We'd be I, lost without you folks. I, I try and cycle through. We love our regulars, so I, I try and keep some of our regulars in there. Um, but I also try and cycle through some people that are writing in for the first time. And and the more different they are, the better. The, the more chance of them getting selected is all, is all I'll say, okay? So let's start with the oldest listener of the pod of all time. Will we upgrade or will we delete their opinion? Dylan says... I don't know. My favourite episode of the season so far. Big fan of questions without answers. People who don't like this because they didn't get it are stupid. Yes! I said it, folks. Upgrade. Yes. I agree. I got it. I can't deny it. I agree. Um, People are stupid. Yeah. Questions without answers? More. Give us more, please. Jezza. Jeremy says, I know this opinion will get a fat delete, but I think <laughs> they wasted the horror potential of a small Welsh village setting and moved on too quickly to way less interesting things. The Prime Minister villain was lame and unmemorable. Episodes should have been contained in the village. I get it. You know, I, I, get, I get it. it too, yeah. I could see that being an awesome episode. Yeah. Um, Who's to say they can't do it one day, though? Yeah, exactly. Ruby, we're back in the village. Um, so I'm, mm, I'm going to delete it because I don't think it detracted that much from the episode. But I could see an alternate episode that was really good. But I also don't think this is that episode because this isn't an episode of one and done in a creepy village. This is an episode about something much bigger than that. It, yeah, it depends if you. If, it depends how much you care about that being like a distraction for the trailers and stuff. That mm. you know takes you away from the actual main plot. I suppose I'm going to have to say delete too. I'm sorry, Jeremy. You have a TARDIS that you can tell the future. Delete. But I do understand. I understand the first comment. The rest, I I'm sorry. I do disagree with. Unfortunately, I'm we sorry. Really, we need it. Really need a uh, delete. Well, button. that's all right then. Yeah, we we do need a delete button for now. Quiet. <laughs> it's less offensive than the uh, ori- the original. Um, I mean, we can go back to this if you want. Kill yourself. That, the thing is, it's like switching to both boards as well. It's like uh, so super annoying. I can fix it up. Don't worry. Um, okay. Jacob says, I love turn left. And this hit the same spot. It is also quite depressing that like Donna, Ruby lived this whole life that was just miserable with her own family hating her for her to save the world. And in the end, that version of Ruby no longer exists. Let me switch the board over to a fat. Yes. Absolutely. You, you said it, Speed you said it, you know, you said uh, it was another turn left and it's, it's, it's true. I agree. 
And I feel like it's stupid saying that, like, you know, Ruby didn't, it's like all that for nothing. Mm -hmm. She literally says at the end that she's been to Wales three times. Yeah. So she does remember. I love that last line. Self-consciously. I love that. Uh, Now. Now, I love that. It's, it feels so like live in the moment. Don't let I'm yourself get fixated and get old without seeing what's here right in the present right now. Don't know if that's what Russell's going for, but my wanky th- film brain. Kill yourself. Thank you. Took it like that. Um, let's rattle through some of these real quick, Connor, because we've got quite a few to go. Um, Adam Jasper says, the first half was excellent, but I feel we needed more time with both Mad Jack and Marty as their characters felt undeveloped. Um, I, I, agree. Get that. I agree. I agree. I get that. Yeah. yeah. I get that. Yeah. I do think they were, and I understand people say this episode should have been an hour, but I think, you know, they have to fit the the time slots, folks. Mm. I agree, but I still think, like, what they did achieve in that little amount of time, I think it felt like a movie in a sense. Oh, dude, it was, it an, it was an adventure. Long, but not in a bad way. One of my mates who dropped off Doctor Who uh, said that this was their favourite one of, of all of them so far. So, um, and uh, they said they said that, it's that line, they said it felt like an adventure. So um, Didn't like Boom? They, they like Boom, yeah. They really like Boom, but they... What's all this hate on Boom? No, they really like Boom. And I like Boom. I don't think it's the best thing of all time, but I really like I, it. I feel like you secretly hate Boom. No, I love it. But I... I feel like you never said that on the show. I said it. Uh, but I really like Boom. I just think it's a really good normal Doctor Who story. Do you know what I mean? No, I don't, actually. Whereas this is like a really good different Doctor Who story. And I like when Doctor Who's weird. Um, okay, uh, Aaron sees, uh, sorry, Aaron Creaser says he's really enjoyed it. Felt like it was wrapped up a bit, a tad too quick. It was never explained why exactly 73 yards. I don't need to know why we have this distance. I'm going to put that out there. Do you think, do you think there's a reason? I don't give a fuck if there was one. I did see. I'd say Russell, did, shut up. Did you see Russell being like, I went down to Swansea Bridge and I calculated exactly 73 yards. The bridge was exactly 73 yards long. Well, no, he did the walk. I'd love to just see him doing that one day. Like, <laughs> Russell, what are you doing? Prep for an episode. Pre-production. Yeah, pre-production. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to delete that one. Sorry, Az, but uh, DJ Alpha T. Yeah, I'll delete it too. Hits us up with, uh, loved it. Well, I understand. Sometimes you don't need to use the actual <laughs> words. You made it clear Glad enough. How did you know that I didn't? I might have done a secret. <sighs> yes. DJ Alpha T. Says, My loved boy it. from Perth. Love this guy. Always love a bit of p- 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 Perth. Loved it. Not 100% sure it's a Doctor Who story, but bloody creepy. Billing acted by Millie Gibson. Um, big yes. Yes. Wait, loved it. Didn't know if it was a Doctor Who episode? Yeah. So, um, yes. <laughs> big, big, big yes in terms of uh, Millie Gibson being brilliant. Um, big yes for it being bloody creepy. Um, and big yes for it. Not sure it's a Doctor Who story, but I don't think that's a detriment. I like when Doctor Who's not Doctor Who. Yes. You don't want that every week. And uh, I don't like the homies saying, they're fucking with the formula every week. I'm like, no, the Who first- said that? Show me them. First four episodes of the series, even Boom have all been basic Doctor Who formula. Just because uh, Boom is small scale, it's still basic Doctor uh, Who formula. I disagree. It is. It's, they rock disag- up onto a different planet. I disagree. There's when a villain. Does, the Doctor doesn't make the whole episode. When has that ever happened? Huh? Apart from Harry, I think I'm standing on a landmine. What is Harry Sullivan when you need him? What are you asking me? I think that it does. I think it is a different episode. 73 yards is not boom. No, boom. I think boom is a different episode because he doesn't move the whole time. Yeah, it's cool. And it's a different concept, but it's the same formula. I wouldn't say it's the same formula. Uh, I I understand it. it, Yeah, okay. I'm not going to make this point any clearer. Um, Are you upgrading or deleting DJ Alpha before you shoot me in the head? I already said yes, I think. I'm just checking. I don't want you to punch me. <laughs> Universary punch 100 you. says, Doctor Who does outstanding work when facing production constraints, shooting not available to film, and focusing on strengths, Millie's acting talent. Interested to read how the novelization expands around its ambiguities, hopefully remembering to give them their respect, Ruby. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Hard agree. Obstacles or opportunities? Loz Low Typical says, it was dot, 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 good. Up until the end. Hopefully there's more answers coming. I'm still so confused by what exactly Mad Jack was saying to people. I don't want to know what Mad Jack yeah, says. That, yeah. I don't want to know. Delete. Um, and I don't want more answers. I feel like, I feel bad saying like. Delete. You, you don't get it. You don't. Because I guess it is everyone's. You just don't get me. It's everyone's, you know, opinion if they didn't get it. Mm-hmm. 
but I feel sorry for you. Because <laughs> I just feel like that's not the point. Don't get it. It's not the point to get it. It's not. It's not. And no, Disney doesn't pay me anything. YouTube barely pays me. Okay? It's not Doctor Who. It's you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I didn't said it best. Folks. I like I like this name here, certified axon enjoyer. You won't get it, Connor. Um, the opinions on seventy three yards reinforce for me this eight episode a season format doesn't work. Since the episode count is so low, the community has the expectation that every episode needs to be a banger. Mm. There's no room for an okay episode for it mm. to be experimental, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And uh, I'm gonna hard agree. Like I think I think the eight episode thing works. I don't really give a fuck if fans disagree. With, with certain episodes. But I agree that um, people are expecting... I mean, th- just case in point, people are saying 73 yards changes the formula too much. And it's like, come on, man. Well, also, we, we're, we're halfway through the series. Yeah. I'm ready for the end, mate. Wrap it up. We don't know how it ends yet. So I can r- it get a wriggle on, Russell. I, yeah, I, I actually... I kind of half agree as well. Like, I think that... I think it's a good point. Mm-hmm. I can understand that. I think it doesn't leave much wiggle room for... A wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. for a experimental episode like this, but this is what I want. Okay, is it confirmed season two is eight, epi- uh, eight episodes? Pretty sure, but oh we have um, God. we have four writers other than Russell in season two. So um, want to see them off it? Could be. Yes, that's my answer to both of those questions. Will says, I don't know why everyone is comparing this to Turn Left, but Turn Left had rhyme and reason. It was the trickster. Donna remembered the events ish. The doctor knew about it versus this was its own separate timeline and barely anything was explained. Actually, it was the Trix's Brigade. <laughs> I, I keep um, going for that. That meme. That meme, yeah. The, um, it was the Trix's Brigade. So, uh, yeah, but who's the head of the Trix's Brigade, do you think? Oh, please. Maybe the Trickster. That beetle um, has a mind of its own. It can do its own thing. Oh, fucking who cares? Um, <laughs> <laughs> that, um, look, I understand this episode currently doesn't have any wider consequences to it, but does it have to? Isn't it? Ju- do you watch Black Mirror and go, I hate how this episode didn't affect the next episode? Next week, or, or this week, I should say, will be. Because Dot and Bubble? Uh, we'll get into that very soon. That's a little bit of a tease. I don't know. I think. I think. I think. I think that. Um. I think that Black Mirror kind of dropped the ball a long time ago. So. Yeah, but who cares? My point is. Isn't that the point? Doctor Who is episodic. Oh, I so see. So my point is, things they're nice when they get connected, but sometimes, you know, you don't see the Doctor going. Remember that time my companion was drawing that like someone was drawing art and it all came to life. I do appreciate that though. I do, but like it doesn't come back. Like it doesn't matter if this episode doesn't mean anything in the scheme of things because most episodes of Doctor Who don't mean anything in the scheme of things. Like I'm watching Seinfeld for the first time uh-huh. and they occasionally like reference stuff. And I'm like, I just, I really just like that, particularly mm. for like a 24 episode thing. But like, I like when things get referenced. Same so, in Doctor Who. So are you agreeing then that the fact that this doesn't. Um, it's hard to say. You have to upgrade. All- yes. okay, yeah. okay. I can't um, remember the question but that's all right i'm deleting it um make- <laughs> i can't remember what they said but i guess i'm agreeing with it um this name kind of rounds rhymes with tegan javanka michaela stefanka no sorry no. it's michaela steph 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 oh michaela steph kova michaela from the from the um from the live stream on friday night oh, hello michaela i'm so you sorry said her name right well Did the I? first part i'm so sorry she if said i no one your says name. it right it steph first- kova no, the first, the first part, Ma- Ma- Michaela. Michaela. Yeah. That looks like a pretty, like it's a different, but it yeah. looks like a, a Michaela to me. Um, I absolutely adored it. Very the curse of Clyde Langer, like my favorite Sarah Jane Adventures episode. This might just well be my new favorite episode of Doctor Who. Massive call. Yes. But I'm okay with it. You know, it might be my top ten. It could be. I need it. These new episodes, I need to cook. Let them cook yeah, first. You, need, you know, uh, it's too, it's too fresh. But I think if I'm, can I'm you look at those for me? Can I look in them? They might be a little bit rose-coloured, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, I see. That was a visual gag, audio listeners. I was holding up my glasses. That's good. That's good. Oh, I see. I see. We both pressed at the same time, but like milliseconds apart. And so so we cancelled it. it, You you cancelled it. This soundboard is causing a lot of mayhem on this podcast at the moment, isn't it? I do like the ones you can have on the side. You can just... Any shiz. All right. Uh, yeah, Michaela, you're great. Upgrade. You're very special. 
Upgrade. 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 I'm so sorry, I'm going to butcher this name here. But last one for today, Nagul says, Na- Nagul? Nagul says, beautiful journey. Unlike any other Doctor Who episode ever, I love the nightmare logic of it, or lack thereof. Might be my favorite RTD2 episode tied with Wild Blue Yonder. You're the best, guys. Add a Sherlock Holmes quote by Strax and the Snowmen to the sound pad, please. And do you know what I have to say to that, Connor? Mr. Holmes. Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, I, uh, I'm going to upgrade that. There's, there's nothing crazy in there other than I just wanted the Sherlock Holmes thing in there. So Is that why you... Mr. Holmes. Yeah, that's kind of good, actually. Mr. Holmes. I like it. And the before, whole of back before, four has just Strax in it so far. <laughs> There's only one in there. Before um, Connor said something to me, and I went, I went, he, 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 he. Yes. and I was so tempted to press Mr. Holmes. I don't remember. Was that on this show? On this show, yeah. I don't even remember that. Anyways, guys, uh, thank, thank you. Thank you, everyone, for sending that. Amazing. Y'all all deserve a fat round of applause for that one. Um, some good opinions in there. Some fucking dumb ass motherfucking ones in there, too. Like, Come on, guys. Why does he travel with someone as stupid as you? Kidding. Is that Moffat trying to tell... Moffat. Uh, Russell trying to tell us that if you don't get it, you're as stupid as that as companion that the dots have traveled with before. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> got a bit lost there, Connor. got a bit lost in the source. Um, but no, uh, even though I called you all stupid just then, um, we love you all and thank you for sending them in. It's all in the name of love. If we don't agree with you, then that in is... Uh, that's on you, I guess. Of love. love. All right, Connor. One more in we the have name another of love. Doctor Who episode. Sorry. Uh, we have another Doctor Who episode coming out next week. Did you know it? It's written by Ross Davies and directed by Dylan Ho- Holmes Williams once again, who directed From 73 yards. This episode, so that's got a good thing going for it. Yes. Um, this episode, believe it or not, is called Dot and Bubble. I didn't know that. So let's preview it. Oh my shall God, we? I didn't know that. Shall we look ahead? Sure, let's do it. Kill yourself. The world of fine time seems happy and harmonious, but an awful terror is preying on the citizens. Can the Doctor and Ruby make them see the truth before it's too late? This episode is 43 minutes long. Wow. The trailers look fucking terrible. The clips? The clip was fine. I like the one of the lady waking both. up. Okay, we haven't seen the other one. Waking up in someone else's bed. It's what I was waiting for. We need for. that on the sound bad. Just that, to yeah, five copyright each week. Yeah. I literally said to you, I was like, before we started filming, I was like, don't even bother watching like the other clip that I saw because it's just like, it's it's a, it's another sunny day in, in fine time. There's Woo. nothing wrong with today. And you just see the body getting dragged away again. It's like... It's so generic Black Mirror-esque from what we've seen. Like, it, it's so, everything's okay, but under the surface, there's something a bit naughty. All my friends are disappearing. And I get we've just had uh, a wacky episode of Doctor Who. And before that, as I said, a normal episode of Doctor Who that was a little bit different. So I understand that they probably want to go to something that's a bit more of like a straightforward, is your monster of the week shit all over again. Um, but, and I won't judge... I, I mean, I probably think it's all right, but I'm not. I I don't think this is going to be the episode of the season. You know. No, I think I honestly think it's going to do the opposite. I think it's going to like piss people off. I and might throw it up. Away. It doesn't look good. I'm not Ugh. excited for it. Ugh. I'm thinking of dot and bubble. Ugh. Aiden, <clears throat> you know I got sick five years. Right, yeah. All right. I, that makes me feel nervous. I'm thinking of dot and bubble. Stop. Oh, stop oh, doing. Just... Stop acting. Ugh. Stop. <laughs> stop. I have a sick phobia, and it's real. Yes. Thank you. I just think it looks terrible. I'm sorry. Mm. I hate to say it. I generally, I have not watched Boom and My Parents yet. Tomorrow for sure, I was promised. Mm-hmm. Um, and that was two weeks ago. So I just genuinely don't think I can show them this episode. Slugs. Or as my girlfriend they look, likes to they call look them. terrible. Uh, doggies. Doggies. Yeah, the dogs look terrible. Doggies. This, what this episode this? got some dogs in it. What happened to the CGI? Yeah, the dogs look terrible. They, I they, thought they looked okay. I wasn't, uh, I wasn't mad about it. Uh, All right, they well. look like shy, Aiden. Stop living in cloud cuckoo land. Because everything's fine in fine time. Yeah, well, it's not. Fine. Okay. And also, do you know what I hate? My favorite Doctor costume. He's wearing it in this episode. Yeah, the best episode. Which is weird, though, because like, you only got to see him wearing the actual tweed jacket. From the promo, the first promo pic we saw him with a, with a, the 
Is it Tweed or the, or the patch or whatever the fuck it is? I think it's Tweed. Tweed, yeah. And that's Tartan? Kind of, and that's Tartan, yeah. Sorry, Tweed is more Matt Smith. Tartan is like, he's <laughs> shaking his head. I'm just like, I don't care a fuck. <laughs> well, I do, okay? And yeah. I think that it annoys me that we saw it in church from Ruby Road, okay? Mm-hmm. Now, so a recurring costume. Which is unheard of. Crazy to think a man might wear the no, same but costume. he doesn't. He's never going to wear any of these costumes again. So do you think there's a connection to him going to no. the... No. Okay. I think... Do you think he gets the cowboy hat in fine times? Because he's not wearing a cowboy hat in the episode. No. I think what happened was they filmed this episode and then... So they filmed Dot and Bubble and, uh, and, and 73 Yards first. We know they were first filmed. Uh, and then, you know, a few months later, they were filming Church Ruby Road, and they're like, quick, we need a costume for literally two shots. So they're like, okay, they let's just pull this one out. No, but they're always going to reuse costumes like that. Like, Ruby's been reusing costumes when we need to. Did it, This is so fucking nerdy. Like, Ruby's me, not okay? the doctor. This is, I'm going to, like, sniff and put my glasses up a little bit here and make my voice a little bit nasally. Mm-hmm. Um, actually. What, a- actually, when I was watching 73 Yards, I noticed that Ruby was wearing her dress from the start of the devil's cord along with her jacket from the church of Ruby road. Yeah. I know that as well. So they reuse costumes. God, but yeah, but that's Ruby. This is the doctor. <gasps> this is such a stupid Who, conversation. I know does he we need a lot. As stupid as you. No, I'm, I'm, I'm canceling this conversation. I'm done. With, I don't give a well, fuck. One more thing. Oh, I'm just saying that. I just think that it's a bit inconsistent that we don't see costumes rocking up again, but we do see this one rocking up again. I seriously couldn't give any less fucks. But also in the trailer, you see that he's just wearing like the, the orange. Uh, I don't know. So he takes his bla- he takes his jacket off, and that annoys me. Do you remember like because I like the fucking entire look? Do you remember how crazy we went and trying to figure out what happens to David's jacket in Wild Blue Yonder before Wild Blue Yonder? He just doesn't he just. Doesn't he just... He just throws it off at one point. Yeah. Well, there was a... We were like, we were like, actually, at the end of the Starbeast, he's going to put the jacket down, and then that's going to lead into Wild Blue Yonder, where they've been trapped on a spaceship, but he doesn't have his jacket because he left it in in the meat ship. That's what we were going down with the Starbeast. Does he take it off at the end of Starbeast? I don't know. And that's why he's not wearing it. And I just don't give a fuck anymore. It, isn't it crazy that we care about this stuff? I, I gen I generally do care about that kind of thing. What else am I supposed to say about this episode? It's a cheap ass Black Mirror ripoff that no one's probably. I don't think like. it looks that cheap. It looks terrible, oh Aiden. God. You've made your mind up before seeing it, Connor. Yes, I have, and I hope I'm I hope I'm I hope I'm wrong. But I, I hate this <laughs> idea. You hear what Russell says like I met up with Yeah, let me let I me read the quote. With, let me read the quote. Let me read the quote. You've got it. I I haven't seen the run sheet, folks. I'm very prepared. Uh, okay, Why so does he travel with someone as stupid as you? What Connor was saying is that um, <laughs> here's a big quote from Russell. Okay, Russell says this is probably our clearest step into Black Mirror territory, oh, which I was. love. I'm a huge fan of Charlie Brooker. He's immensely brilliant, but there's a little bit more freedom and Doctor Who madness in Dot and Bubble. There's a sense of fun and monsters in the middle of it. Uh, he also goes on to say, so although it's Black Mirror light, so although it's Black Mirror like, it's more Doctor Who. It's got the bones and blood of our favorite show. I hoot when I watch it. Fair enough, Russell. Other sidebar, Russell originally pitched it to Moffat. Uh, Russell said, I thought of it way back when, around 2009, when I was still working on Doctor Who, because I pitched it to Stephen Moffat in a restaurant in Los Angeles. He was saying, would you come back and write for the program? Every year he'd ask me, how lovely. So I pitched this episode in April 2010 in a restaurant called Howl's on Abbott Kinney Boulevard. Karen Gillan, who played Amy Pond, was there. They were in LA to launch their first series, and I remember pitching, I used to call this Visible Twitter. Uh, we didn't go very far for the com- with the conversation because the idea was literally too expensive, but you wait 15 years, and here we are. I think it would have been a great idea back in the day. Mm. I think it might have dated a little bit. Mm. Ah. It, it's Russell's gay fat ass. Like he loves this shit. Like, and I, I'm, I'm on, I'm on for it. Mm. I just know that maybe it won't be for everybody. Uh, well, I'm not really on for it. I've just been slagging it off for the last ten minutes. For me, like the concept, like I'm like, yeah, fine. It sounds like kind of standard. But, 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 what I am not keen on is that it kind of looks like shooting Millie are just in these screens for the oh whole episode. Oh, that's so cringe. And I find it really cringe and really lame, and it stinks. It's. Oh, do you smell that? It's so smelly. Do you smell it? 
It stinks of Shooty filming sex education at the same time as this episode. <laughs> you- so we get two episodes oh. in a row of Dr. Light. Well, we know that Shooty was filming sex ed throughout this whole shooting block, which was episodes four and five. Well, he did also say, I don't know if you got this in your pooey fucking thing. Well, God forbid I spent but half an hour curating a run sheet before we do this fucking podcast. <laughs> God, you're on the wrong side of bed. Oh, I can only get out one side of my bed. There's a wall on the other well, side. Kick down the wall. Hiya! No, did you hear that there's a- Was that John Pertwee? What, because I'm karate? <gasps> oh, yeah. <laughs> ah, and I can fence as well. Yeah. It, Shooty said, episode five, I needed to nail a scene. It's at the ending. And I bloody did. Remember he said that? And the whole crew, he's like, I really needed to nail a scene. It was like one of my first scenes. I had to really nail it. So maybe he has a good night doctor moment at the end of the episode. I have. I can imagine they come into it physically in the last act or something, but. I won't say anything. Uh huh. Really, I won't say anything. But I have heard rumors. I saw a tweet from Doctor Who filming locations or Doctor Who Productions or something. I don't know. But I have heard how it ends. Well, I've heard a thing about how it ends. Um, and it does seem kind of cringe, but I'm interested to see how they handle it. That's all I'll say. I know nothing. I wish I didn't know anything. I kind of just saw it. All and I then can their, say, their response was, "Someone said I wish I didn't know this, and they said you should have blocked hashtag spoiler, which I guess is a fair point. But which I have blocked. Yeah, but I'm not. A, I'm not a loser like that. Well, I don't want to have Doctor. Did Evil spoiled. Knievel wear a helmet? Um, Did no. Johnny Knoxville wear a helmet? But I wear helmets, so um, I don't. I can't be bothered with that kind of thing. <sighs> well, when if he dies, when he you dies. Crack your head on the bloody pavement. I wouldn't fall off. I'm fine. We do not endorse." <laughs> on the 50% Doctor Who podcast, that mindset. Kill yourself. Or that mindset. Um, I just think it looks cringe, don't you? It looked terrible the next time try. You Isn't that literally what you literally yeah. said? You're like, that looks awful. I think the trailer makes it look really shit. Could be good. I'm optimistic. Um, but definitely the least keen I've been out of any of these episodes so far. Uh, but we'll, we'll, see. we'll see. And it seems to be like, it's. I'm sure she'll do a great job, but it seems to be like mostly from that, that character's standpoint yeah which is just it's just one of those things where it's like i don't know why this is back to back with 73 yards yes because if it is sort of another dr light one it's like i don't really like the idea of having two episodes like that in a row because yeah. we're still getting to know shooty's doctor and Absolutely. if four and five are dr light then it's like before we know it's the end of the season and shooty's been in it for three episodes i guess the argument would be um would you rather have waited an extra year for this season i'd wait an extra two months yeah, I suppose. You don't yeah. have to wait. It wouldn't be an yeah. extra year. Yeah. I wait an extra two months. Um, or like just do something. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, or I, if they were just spaced differently in the season, like the ordering of the season. Do you know what I mean? So it's not as... He could be in a lot more than you think. He definitely could be. We're just going off of these trailers. He could be in like three quarters of the episode. It just sucks. Yeah, he could be. It, it just sucks though. Like it's what Dylan Holmes or whatever his name is. My hope is that Dylan Holmes Williams. Yeah. Dylan Holmes. <laughs> also known as Sherlock. Mr. Holmes. Holmes. <laughs> How can, I just don't, I love, I feel like he's not going to be able to like kind of flex his muscles like he did last week. My hope is that Mr. Holmes save this episode. Because yeah. the, the one scene I've seen, uh, which was simply two shots, uh, and it was mainly one shot, uh, that one shot looked really nice. So um, I am on board with whatever Mr. Holmes does the use with this now, episode. I I can I can understand that. Um, I just think like yeah, you know, people are staying up to watch these episodes. People are waking up at six in the morning. Waking up in someone else's bed. That's what I was waiting for. Me, dun, dun, dun. I'm waking up at six a.m. on a Saturday, which I don't want to be doing. Mm-hmm. But I do it for Doctor Who because you can I sleep love in it. this week if you like. I'll do the pot on my own. I'll talk to myself. Don't want to. Love the unbubble. That's why I wake up. My favorite episode. That's why I wake up. 10 out of 10. And that's why I wake up. And uh, I think that, you know, you need to understand that people are be- going to be doing this and they got to be episodes that are worth it. Okay. Mm. And do I think this is worth, to be fair, I sat in this exact spot seven days ago to talk about 73 yards. And I said, you said to me before we started recording, like maybe, maybe this episode can be even better than boom. And I went, you're insane. And here I am now. Here we are. I hope it looks terrible on purpose so I can really enjoy it. If I'm kind of some social commentary that's not cringed by Russell, then I'm there for it. I kind of want this episode to go one way. Nuts. 
shit. Okay. I want fucking fear her. I want quotes. I want the shit that we can take the piss out of. Alternatively, it could be really great and I'd also love it to be really great. But I don't want a middle of the ground, middle of the road story. That will bore me. I want like people going, oh no, it's the slugs. Like shit that you can quote. Shit that you can, you can meme. Because fucking, we need a fear her. We need a love and monsters. We need more of that quotable, cringy 2000 shit. I'm sick of Doctor oh, Who can't, you're on. being so fucking good. What? Make Doctor Who shit again. I wouldn't say We've so. We've had too many good. good episodes in a row. Right. Okay. I need a shitty one that smells terrible. I need a good, ep- a bad, a good bad episode of Doctor Who. It's- do you think that, I mean, I'm at, I, what makes me cringe in my boots is just like, if this really is Shooty Gatwa's first episode and he's just sat on a chair at like a green screen going like, listen, I'm the doctor. You need to watch out. Look to your right. Like I, mm. if that was my first time doing the doctor, I'd be like, wow, this sucks. What have I signed up for? Mm. Thank God I read a few other scripts for agreeing. And I was going to say, if this was the first script yeah, you read, you'd be like, the first no, one this, why would I want to be stuck in a fucking green screen? Mm. That's the real issue. There's people behind green screens going like, eh, eh, eh. it just, it's not my, I, and I feel like Black Mirror has not been good since it went to Netflix anyway, which is what the end of season, uh, season three was Netflix. Um, We're we're, we're, no, we don't really need to talk about it, but I just want to throw it out there. They also we also have really weird names for the characters in this episode. Mm. We have Lindy Pepper Bean, Lindy Pepper Bean, Ricky September. Ah, careful! I've I've Susan Twist is not on this part that I'm looking at, so don't worry. Uh, We're not spoiling Susan Twist cameo for you this week, folks. Uh, Ricky September, Cooper Mercy, Harry Tendency, Hoochie Pie, Valerie Nook, Blake, 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 Very Blue. Gothic Paul, Doctor P, and uh, Rotterdam Twin One, as long as along with Rotterdam Twin Two, um, and so on and so on. So weird title, weird, weird character names. It's um, fine time, man. You know what? I'm keen. Eh. I've gotten keen. Eh. Yeah, give me it. No matter what you say. That's Russell. No matter what you say. Yeah. Just. I don't know, oh, man. I just think it looks kind of shit. All right, all right. We're, we're going around so I can see. Um, I what do you write, want me to say? I fucking love it. I went to write the crystal ball predictions questions this week where yes. I want yes or no answers yes. from no these episodes. What you say. Yeah. Um, I went to write them and was like, fuck, I really don't have anything to ask. So let's just see where we can go with these questions. All okay, right. Connor? All right. I want as honest and as pure of answers. You know I'm always get. honest. So that's okay. why I'm here. Will this episode be really bad or really good? Really bad. Fuck yes, I want that. No. Get it in my veins. No. Will the Doctor and Ruby appear in person or only on those virtual no, screens? They'll appear in person. We've seen that from other pictures. Could this go down as a silly classic, i.e. Love and Monsters? Sure. But I don't know why it's even doing that. Will the plot... This is my last question. Will the plot kick off by the Doctor standing on something again? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me standing? ask you if I can remember. Um, uh, will this be a... Lo- no, that was the second question. There you go. I can't read that. I need glasses. Okay. Uh, maybe I should answer them when I ask you them. Uh, them will together. this episode be, be a really bad or really, bad really, or really good? Ah, good? Um, oh, fuck. I hope it's really bad. Why? Will the Doctor and Ruby appear in person or only in those visual scenes? Fuck it. Just green screens. The no, whole episode. That's not true. Please. I just want green screen. Doctor Who's at its best on a green screen. Could this story down as a silly classic as in Love and Monsters? Yes. I, I think the sillier, the better. Yep. Will the plot kick off by the Doctor stand on something? <laughs> yeah, I think he stands on a TV remote and a screen comes up and then he's like, whoa. What about some slug goo? Where am I? Oh, he stands on some or slug some goo. doggy goo. He slips on some slug goo. He's like, whoop. Why do you want to be shit? I mean, look, I'm just trying to make some lighthearted fun oh, out okay. of this podcast, if I'm being honest. But Do you think you'll find it lighthearted and fun on Saturday morning when you're waking up hungover and watching this shite? I won't be hungover. I don't think I'll be drinking. I'll probably have a couple. I'm going to a play on Friday night, so it'll be very... I won't be pissed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fuck, sorry. You're all Mr. Fucking Art, and now you're like, he's going to see a play. I've been watching Seinfeld, that's all. Fucking... Nah, I'm only... I mean, it's a comedy show, isn't it? <sighs> what, Seinfeld? No, this show. I don't show. laugh at it very much. <laughs> this show, can't I make a few jokes? Yes! 
Congratulations to whoever's in the play. I hope it goes well. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was just making a joke. Connor hates artists. I don't Notoriously hate artists. hates artists. I'm an artist myself. I'm very wanky. Mm. Mm. <laughs> it's great. It's, this is windy outside. I hope not. I'm going to go, wow, I'm dying. Okay, Connor. Mr. Moody Pants. Well, I don't know if I'd call myself that. Mr. Holmes. Would you call yourself that? I would. I, I, I do. I treat my, my brain as like Sherlock Holmes whenever something mysterious is going on. You're like... Oh, I missed the Sarah Jane Adventures. All right. Uh, that's our show. We'll be back on Saturday, folks, to review the worst slash best episode of Doctor Who of all time called Dot and Bubble. Um, we should have some bubbly on it. A bit of... Put a what, bubbles at nine a.m. Yeah, uh, yeah. We're doing it in the finale. We're gonna do m- mimosas for the finale. Mimosas for the final. I was meant to get mimosas at nine a.m. I was meant to get mimosas for the premiere, but I had a really busy day the day before the premiere and literally <laughs> couldn't get to the bottle shop. I tried so hard, but I just could not get it together. Uh, uh, but we will have mimosas on the finale to celebrate the end of the best mimosas season. Mimosas in plural. So many mimosas. It's 9 a.m. So many. Now we're going to be fucked by the end of the podcast. Aren't we doing our final thing that day? Our final, we're doing a, we're doing a celebration, aren't we? Yeah, mimosas. But I don't know if it's just so nice. We're getting <laughs> fucked. Will we make it to the, to the pub? I don't even know what date that is. We have to, ch- we will do some form of celebration. I don't know if it's on that Saturday. We'll do, we'll do some form of rap party. This is some, celebration. this is uh, some kind of mimosa chat right now. We're going to get fucked up on mimosas. I'll have a mimosa. Dom. Thanks. So early though, Jesus. Oh. I, don't know, I don't know how I feel about that, but I'll do it. I'll do it for the bit. Yeah, we got him. Yeah, we got him. Doing. Mr. Holmes. Um, all right, guys. Uh, yeah, we'll be back Saturday. Uh, looking forward to it to do some Dot and Bubble. That was a great show, Aiden. You too. You too. Thank you. Notoriously, what? my dad's favorite band. We did see them live. I wouldn't say it's his favorite though. No, my dad's favorite Oh, band. really? Did he see them live in he 2019? Did. Yeah, I think he did. Yeah, I was there as well. Was that the 360 No Scope tour? No, that was with Jay-Z. Uh, he, he, went to the, he went to the 360 No Scope. Whole high Flying Birds. He went to the 360 No Scope tour. Yeah, that's with, that's with Jay-Z opened. What a random opener for a YouTube Dad concert. also notoriously loves Jay-Z. What can I say? Really? No. The 2019 tour was really awesome. Well, that's all right then. Uh, Noel Gaga opened up. It was really cool to see him live. It's don't look back in anger. I heard 50 percent say it's Aiden's and Connor's podcast. We're doing Doctor Who previews on a Monday. Doing Doctor Who previews. Oh, I see. Yeah, you never fucking know the answer when it's important. That's such a good bit. It's a good bit, isn't it? I love that. What's your favorite sound on the sound pad? Um, it was oh I see, but I reckon yes, it's like it's just so easy to push. It's quick, it's it's mm. it's to the point. What it's, about this one? Sir, emergency! I think I've been run over by a cab. I like how you uh turn down the um the volume because it's uh It's louder than the other sound bites, so I've got the a, volume. What's your favorite? Um I think I quite like at the moment I like this. Mr. Holmes. What's wrong with that? You just added it. Or oh, I like this. Me dog dropped in fucking Costa. I like this. Kill yourself. Um, this is a controversial one. Kill yourself. According to who? Someone told me the other day. Kill yourself. On Twitter. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs>